Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, EMF fully confined uh, in a trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, 56 uh, centimeters square. And moreover, uh, this uh, segment uh, EM is 8 uh, centimeters. And likewise, uh, this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 8 centimeter as well. And furthermore, uh, M is the midpoint. In other words, uh, this uh, segment uh, AM equal to this segment uh, DM. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, EMF, whose uh, area has been given to us as uh, 56 centimeters square. And one of the side length uh, is uh, 8 uh, centimeter. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And now let's assume that uh, this side uh, EM is the base of uh, this green triangle. And let's assume that uh, this uh, EB is the height uh, of uh, this uh, green triangle as well. And I'm going to label this height uh, as lowercase uh, h. And the area of this triangle has been given to us as 56. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area has been given to us as 56 equals to a half times the base is 8 and the height is lowercase h. Let's simplify. We got 56 equals to 4 times h. And now we are going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate h. So this 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore h uh, height uh, value turns out to be 14 uh, centimeter and since uh, eb is being represented by lowercase h so therefore our eb length is going to be 14 uh, centimeter and here's our next step i have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular pd on this line uh, ab and now we can see that this uh, segment uh, PD is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, segment uh, BC. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, CD is going to be equal to this segment uh, BP. If this segment CD is 8, uh, then this uh, BP length is going to be 8 uh, as well. And we know this whole uh, segment eb length is uh, 14 and this is uh, 8 so therefore uh, this remaining uh, segment eb length is going to be 14 minus 8 is going to give us uh, 6 and now let's focus on these uh, two triangles this smaller right triangle uh, aem and the bigger right triangle uh, apd as you can see and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle uh, EMA and this angle uh, PDA are uh, our corresponding uh, angles and they are uh, congruent. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, smaller right triangle AEM uh, is uh, similar to this uh, other bigger right triangle uh, APD according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem and now let's make an observation we can see that this segment uh, AM equal to this segment uh, MD let's assume that this uh, segment is uh, X then this segment has got to be X uh, as well then this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AD is going to be x uh, plus x is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, x and now we know that these uh, two right triangles are similar if this uh, bigger right triangle is this side is uh, 2x uh, then the smaller triangle side uh, is uh, x uh, half of that one so therefore we conclude that the ratio of these uh, true triangles uh, is going to be 
1 2 2 if uh, this uh, side length uh, em uh, is uh, 8 then this uh, pd length is going to be twice as that one is going to be 16 centimeter and likewise uh, if this uh, segment ep is uh, 6 then this uh, segment uh, ae is going to be 6 as well and this whole uh, length has got to be 6 plus 6 is going to give us 12 and now we can see that this uh, pd length uh, is same as this uh, bc length if this length is 16 then bc length is going to be 16 as well and finally let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, eb length uh, is 14 and this uh, ae length uh, is 6 so therefore uh, the length of this uh, whole uh, side ab is going to be 14 plus 6 uh, is going to give us uh, 20 centimeter and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, trapezoid uh, a b c d and now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid sometimes we call it a trapezium a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides and here we can see our this uh, side uh, c d is uh, parallel to this uh, side uh, a b and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height uh, h times uh, base is a plus b all over 2 and in this uh, case uh, the base uh, a is uh, 20 the base uh, b is uh, 8 and finally the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid uh, is uh, 16 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, area of a trapezoid formula so therefore the area of the trapezoid a b c d is going to be height uh, in our case is 16 divided by 2 times uh, our bases are uh, 20 plus uh, 8 and now we can see this fraction 16 divided by 2 reduces to 8 and this uh, in parentheses 20 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 28 so therefore let's simplify that thing that is going to give us 8 times uh, 28 and if we multiply that thing that is going to give us uh, 224 centimeter square so therefore after all the manipulations and calculations uh, the area of this trapezoid a b c d turns out to be 224 centimeter square so therefore the area of this uh, trapezoid a b c d is going to be 224 centimeter square and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.